Well, I want to talk now about your spell of five weeks in Trinidad and Tobago. Why did you decide? <laughs> yeah, um, I, yesterday I was meeting uh, two former players of Trinidad and Tobago. I, you were in Belgium and uh, I had a meeting with them and we were talking about it. Um, when I signed for Trinidad and Tobago, uh, it was a short-term deal for six months. But I believe because they were in the running for the Gold Cup and, and then the start of the World Cup qualification, I thought I'd go to a country with potential to go to the World Cup because in 2006 they were at the World Cup. So I really thought this is a step forward. And I made the selection of 30 players. I arrived 10 December and my first game was 27 December, friendly against Nicaragua. And beginning January, out of the FIFA dates, we had to play the last two playoffs against um, uh, Suriname and Haiti to go to the Gold Cup because the former coach, he was fired. He had lost all the group stage games and um, it was the last chance to qualify for the Gold Cup. Uh, I selected 30 players, but from these 30 players, 17 didn't come. Uh, so I had only 13 players. And later I heard that the president didn't invite these players. Um, and then I was forced to invite local base players. Uh, and the president, he was owner of one club in the league, but I invited also five players of the number one in the league, Central FC, where Mr. Brent Sancho, former national team player, was the chairman. He said to me, I don't release my five players for the national team. I said, why? Uh, because the league is going on and the league's games will be played when you have national team matches and I want to become champion. And I called the president of the federation. I said, please, can you stop the league for two weeks so that I at least have these players? And the president said no. So I was almost forced only to play players from the president's club. Probably to sell the players, to promote the players. So uh, we won in Nicaragua one match. Um, but then against Suriname, we drew. And in extra time, we lost. And then the last game against Haiti, we drew. And in extra time, we lost. And I thought by myself, but... I get the blame for losing for the outside world because everyone thinks Trinidad Tobago is a big football country. But I'm not working with the best players of Trinidad because I invited 17 others, who, I, players who played in Belgium, in Russia, in America, and they were not invited even. So they were not there. I don't play with the second best players because the number one in the lock, five players are not released. I play only with the, the third team uh, of Trinidad. And I play against the first team of Suriname, the first team of, of Haiti. Uh, so this is not, not, not possible. I cannot work like that. So I, I, I really thought about it from what do I do? Do I keep on and I wait till March when there was Mexico and I think Panama the games? But then I thought if I stay, people will blame me for the results. And I wanted to make a clear sign of the 35 days from this is unacceptable. So I resigned and, and I made them public from, I cannot work like this because really I, I invited players and I got other players. So uh, I want to win. As a coach, I always want to win. Uh, when I start as a club coach or as a national team coach, I, I want to be the best. Uh, but if I cannot do my job in a proper way, then, then it's very difficult to achieve that. So that was a very big disappointment, to be honest, because you expected more professional setup 